need to create a webhook that Stripe can call when a payment is successful. We will use the customer data that Stripe sends us to create an account for the user. To create an API for the webhook, go to the terminal and run Amplify Add API. It's going to be a REST API and we will choose the default name for the API. We want to create a slash webhook route and we can choose the default name for the Lambda function. We will write the API in Node.js and the template will be express. We also want to configure advanced settings, so yes. We want to access other resources, specifically auth. Press spacebar to select auth and hit enter. Choose create, read, update and delete. We do not want a recurring function. We do not need lambda layers. We do not need to configure any extra environmental variables, but we do need to configure secret values. The name of the secret would be Stripe key, and we can copy the Stripe key from the Stripe dashboard and paste in the terminal. Select I'm done. Choose no to editing local functions now. Choose no to restricting the API. Now cd into the source directory of the function and install the Stripe and AWS SDKs. Open the editor and open the app.js file in the function. Now let's clean up this file by removing all the routes except the post method route. To pass the Stripe request properly, we need to pass a verify function to the body parser and set raw body to the buffer. Next, create a function to fetch the secret Stripe key. Copy and paste the code snippet for fetching the key inside the function and return the value from the function. In the post route, call the function to get the key. Then use the key to configure an instance of Stripe. Then use the Stripe instance to get the customer email address. Create an instance of Cognito Identity Service Provider so we can use it to create a new user. Use the instance to call admin create user and set the user pool ID to the value stored in the user pool ID environmental variable. Amplify conveniently shows you the environmental variable in the comment. Set username to user email. Delivery medium would be email. User attributes would just be one thing, which is the email as well, same as the validation data. We can also pass a function as a second argument to admin create user to let us know when the user is created or if an error occurs. Now run amplify push from the CLI to update the amplify project. Hit yes when amplify asks you if you are sure you want to continue. Now once the push process is done, head to dashboardostripe.com slash test slash webhooks and click add endpoint. Open the AWS exports file at the root of your project, which Amplify has updated with your new API endpoint. Copy the endpoint and paste it in the endpoint URL field. Since our route is slash webhook, add slash webhook at the end of the URL. Click select event to choose the event that will trigger the endpoint and select payment intent succeeded. Now test the checkout flow again. Now once it's done, you should get an email with temporary sign-up credentials.